It's really difficult coming up with ideas for meals, especially family meal time. We don't need a recipe, we just need some ideas for dinner. Here's an easy idea where we can just bung it in the air fryer. These gorgeous Japanese dumplings, or are they Korean mandu, or Chinese wontons? This is where my cultural ignorance kicks in. What is the difference between a gyoza or wontons or mandu? Apparently, there is a huge difference. The, the shape of them, the thickness of the wrap, and the whole country that they come from. <laughs> but I'm gonna get these dumplings and bung it in the air fryer. <laughs> these are frozen wonton style. <laughs> I love that song. Wonton style. Wonton style. Wonton style dumplings. They're actually mandu, but they're like gyoza. And they, they come in a bag, a frozen bag from Costco. And they have actually got air fryer instructions on the back of the pack. So what, what are we gonna do? Let's bung it in the air fryer. <laughs> The instructions say to lay out 12 to 15 dumplings. I'm, <laughs> I think I'm gonna go for 15 rather than 12. They, they sort of look a bit like uh, ravioli. They're that kind of size, but in go the, the 12. And I, I definitely come back and make sure that it's uh, 15 dumplings. Now, I'm not sure that you need to do this, but the, the pack says, that we should brush some cooking oil on. I'm using this uh, toasted sesame oil to, and I found a brush as well, which uh, is silicone brush. I'll put that down in the description if you want to get one of those. I don't think you need any of this, but uh, just because I've got it to hand, I'm brushing some oil onto the dumplings and making a nice big fat mess. <laughs> it's okay if there's some oil left over because I'm going to be using this for easy gyoza dumpling dipping sauce. So uh, we'll use the leftovers for that. But now the, the big moment, now we get to bung it in the air fryer. <laughs> Wonton style. We are going to select air fry and put up 200 degrees centigrade, that's 390 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm going to dial up three minutes. The whole thing will take six minutes, but we'll do three minutes for this uh, first section. While the dumplings are air frying, I'm now making the gyoza dipping sauce. This is an easy dipping sauce that I've lifted from the internet. I, I'm not Asian and your taste will vary. But I'm using soy sauce, some apple cider vinegar. I'm going to use the toasted sesame oil. And oh, I've just remembered I've got some left over from where I was brushing them on the wontons. And I'm putting in a generous uh, <laughs> spoon of honey. I think I'm putting a bit too much in. Uh, I think it only needs a little bit for sweetness, but uh, let's go nuts. And give that a really nice mix, but I'm also going to add sesame seeds just to give it a bit of sesame seed flavor. Some people toast the seeds, and I wonder if I could toast them in the air fryer while the, uh, the wontons are cooking. That, that probably would have been a good idea. And just to uh, zhuzh it up even more, I'm uh, cutting the skin off this ginger here so that I can microplane it into the sauce. Just a little bit of fresh ginger and I've got some garlic as well. I won't use all of this, I'm just using half a garlic <laughs> clove and that can go into the sauce as well. And we'll give it a really nice big mix and uh, it looks messy and sloppy and the quantities are probably wrong, but uh, at least I've got something to dip my wontons or gyoza or mandu into. The three minutes are up, so let's have a look. Oh, that's looking looking good, they're starting to sizzle. So it was a good idea to put the oil on for the sizzle. So we give them a shake, let's, let's turn them over. But then, well, I can turn that one over. And then put them on for another three minutes. So that is air fry, 200 or 390 Fahrenheit and three minutes, go. The extra three minutes are nearly up, so let's have a look. Ah, oh, look at them, they look absolutely delicious, sizzling away with the lightly brushed oil. 
They smell absolutely delicious as well. Let's get them onto the plate. I'll speed this bit up. I have no idea why I love Asian food so much. I, I'm gonna have these for breakfast. They, are, they look absolutely sumptuous. Usually I boil these in a pot of water because it's easier, but they tend to fall apart and you don't get that crisp texture for the, the wrap. Look at them, these look absolutely succulent. I know once I finish this plate off, I will probably air fry another batch <laughs> to use the sauce up. Let's hold off no longer. Maybe I should get some chopsticks. All oh, right, so this is, uh, this is how you know you're in a Western household, mismatching chopsticks. Right, let's give this a try. I'm gonna try and do this and hold the camera. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna work. Oh. oh, with the dipping sauce. It is absolutely delicious. Let me open one up for you. Oh, it's steaming up. I was gonna bite into this and show you the inside, but that'd be disgusting, wouldn't it? So let me, <laughs> let me be elegant and cut it open with a knife. And there you can see the uh, pork and vegetables inside, absolutely scrumptious. My goodness. Do you think you might be trying out some frozen dumplings in your air fryer? Leave me a comment down below. It'd be lovely to hear from you. And thank you for hitting the thumbs up or the subscribe button. It really helps me to keep this channel going. And right here, just over there, <laughs> are all my other air fryer meal ideas and recipes for your air fryer. Oh.